Here is the iPad Pro M5 11 inch. I'm going to show you how to set this up step by step. First thing is go ahead and turn it on. Just press and hold that power button on top. Press and hold to the Apple logo appears. Once it boots up, you should be here at the hello screen here, just from the bottom. Go ahead and swipe up. From here, choose your language. I'm going to go with English. Choose your country or region. I'm in the US. Appearance, choose how you would like you like your text and icons to look on your iPad. So you got the default there, medium or large. For myself, I'm gonna go with medium and I'm gonna tap on continue. Quickly set up iPad. Bring your current iPhone or iPad near this iPad to sign into your Apple account to get set up a little bit faster. So if you're gonna use the same uh, Apple ID where you can with your phone or another uh, iPad, you can just bring it up here and sign in that way, okay? If not, you can always just set up with another device and you can sign into your Apple account manually. From here, go ahead and connect to your Wi-Fi. There's mine right there. Let me put in my password. After you put in password, go ahead and tap the check mark right there. Oops, let me do that again. Tap it right there. Uh, there we go. It, it highlighted now because I didn't have the right password in there. So there we go. Now it's good. It may take a few minutes to activate your iPad, so just be patient. We do have a software update. You can update now or you can do it later after the setup. For myself, I'm gonna go ahead and do it now. So I'm gonna say update now. Terms and conditions, go ahead and read through all that. And if you agree, just go ahead and tap on agree right there. Now we get our progress bar here. Okay, and then once it boots back up, it's gonna be back here. And it's gonna go ahead and slide up. And then for some reason, it's going to bring us back here. We already did this. We chose medium, set up another device. Now we're at data privacy here. We're going to go ahead and we can learn more or you can tap on continue. Age range of the person that's going to be using this iPad. I'm going to be using it myself. So I'm going to tap on adult down here. You can set up a face ID password right now or you can do it later. For myself, I'm going to do it now. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on continue here. Now you want to rotate this to landscape mode like this and kind of put your face in there. Or you're going to tap on get started here. And then you're going to put your face in there and then kind of do like a circle. Just like that. Tap on continue. Oh, I've got to do it one more time. Okay, there you go. Harder for me because I have the camera here. Anyway, face ID is now set up. I want to tap on continue now you want to uh, create a passcode okay so you can go ahead and tap down here passcode options and you can see whichever one you want for myself i'm just going to go with the four digit you can always change this later as well so let me choose my four digits and it's going to ask you to re-enter the, pa uh, the passcode and then now from here you can transfer your apps and data from your iCloud backup, from another iPad or iPhone, from a Mac or PC, or from an Android uh, smartphone or tablet, okay? But for myself, I'm gonna have a fresh, clean install on this iPad, so for myself, I'm gonna put don't transfer anything. Now it's asking me to sign into my Apple account, which I forgot the password, so I'm just gonna go ahead and skip this part. I can do it sometime later after the um, setting is done. So I'll just put set up later in settings. Don't use for now. Update your iPad automatically. Go ahead and read through that. I will tap on continue. Location services, you can go ahead and turn that on or set it up later, turn it on, turn it off whenever you wish. Uh, screen time, let's tap on that. Uh, iPad analytics, go ahead and read through that. You can share with Apple or don't share. It doesn't matter, it's optional, but I'll just go ahead and share with Apple. Same with app analytics. You can share with app developers or don't share, it's optional. For myself, I will share with the app developers. How do you want your appearance display to look? You want the light or the dark or you wanna go on auto? For myself, I like always on dark and I will tap on continue. Here's Apple intelligence. Go ahead and read through that. If you want to set it up, you can set it up by tapping up here, or you can always set it up later after setting sometime. Okay, so for myself, I'm just going to set up later. Here's Siri. You can set it up now, set it up now or set it up later. I'm going to set mine up now. So let's so let's set this up. Let's tap on continue. 
And what voice do you want? The colors of the colors of the sky. The colors of the sky fade. I like number four, that lady's voice. I will tap on continue. Siri, how's the weather? Hey Siri, send a message. Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, get directions home. Siri, play some music. Okay, Siri's done. And you can see iPad can listen to for Siri or Hey Siri at the beginning of your request. We're going to tap on continue here. Improve Siri's dictation. You're going to read through that. This is optional. It's up to you. For myself, I'm going to put not now. Multitasking and windowing. Do you want to use the full screen apps or the full screen with windowed apps? You can kind of see the difference. I'm good with full screen apps. I will tap continue. And voila, we can tap right there, and we are in business now. Pretty simple. Questions or issues, just uh, comment below.